Guys who are currently watching a clip from our podcast, The Fellas, the full podcast is available exclusively on Spotify with video for free. So go ahead and follow us on Spotify. It actually helps us out more than you could imagine. So they invited me up for an audition. That was like, and the thing is there is, I'm quite determined. So like, I, I kind of like, once I got to that, I thought, right, I actually like low-key want to get on this now. Yeah, so I, I want to give it a proper go so now. Yeah, I kind of want to get on it. So... But I thought, and like, there, but there are people there that are like, you know, they just want. You can just tell that they are just so fucking desperate to like, really? to get on it. Like, oh, and like, we had like, we had like, um, so there was like a group session, yeah. And it was just, it was just like they'd say stuff like they'd ask questions, uh, you know, controversial questions, and then people would go to the controversial side. And they asked them why, and they just couldn't give an answer because they were just trying to, you know, be controversial for the sake of it. But we're in a group task where we're all yeah. stuck around in a circle. And um, she says to this guy, she says, oh, um, you know, are you good at, like, making split decisions? He's like, oh, I'm really good at that. She went, kick someone out right now. And she went, I'm not joking, by the way. She's like, choose someone to leave. And he was like, oh, 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 I can't do it. And she said, can anyone? I went, yeah, him, like that. <laughs> Yeah, he was like, he was just being like, re he was like being like really like egotistical. Yeah. I just thought like, just let's say some people think I'm a twat and I, I can be a massive twat. I just thought you are a twat. It's like, yeah. She said, why? And I think I just genuinely said some of the lines of he's doing my head in. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. And she didn't actually kick him out. She didn't actually kick him out. But yeah, then, then like, there was probably about a group of like 25, 30. And I think three of us, and they were, you no, know, like, you could see when they pulled us aside, like some of them, the score, and like, they were like, really? Fuming. I just thought, hey, happy days. Oh, yeah. The producer was fuming because. It was in this like building in Shepherd's Bush. Uh -huh. And she was like, we've got to go in the lift. I was like, oh, I said, I don't like lifts. I want to take the stairs. She's like, you have to take the lift. I was like, well, I'm sorry. I was like, I'd rather take the stairs, please. <laughs> they walked you up. You had to talk to like, yeah, you had to talk to like a virtual big brother. Okay. It was almost like a, like, like you're in the diary room. Uh -huh. And it was just chatting to you. And it was like, oh, it said, it said to me, like, I said, um, it said, uh, you good with facts sort of thing. I said, oh, well, give me a fact sort of thing. And he said, oh, it said, like, does a snake have, like, how many vertebrae is in, like, a snake's back or something? And I said, oh, six. And, they, and I said, oh, is that the right answer? And it just went, oh, Big Brother's not Google. And I thought, well, you know, you're just having fuck? a bit of banter. Yeah, they're really, yeah, yeah. they're so quick. Really? So did that, got through that, and then I'd, like, um, then I'd, uh, like, a, so you had to, like, write out loads of forms. And then it was, like, a group thing of just, like, 12 people with, like, loads of producers. Uh-huh. I ate some, they had some cake. I was pretty peckish. I literally walked up and said, oh, do you mind if I'd steal a bit of that? I thought they'd quite enjoy that. I yeah. Like, I, well, I mean, it sounds like you've smashed it at these auditions every time. Do you know what I mean? Or, uh, two out of two, it's not a bad. Well, well yeah. yeah. But, well, were there any that you went to uh, and that you didn't get? Well, no. T well, I guess no, because I made it all the way. Because I had to go, you had to go back. But like, to be fair, I was just being myself. Like, I was just being myself. But you kind of like... It, you, you, as I say, if you're if you're smart, you can almost know what they're looking for, but yeah. you can't try too hard because if you it's overdo it, it, it's too obvious. So yeah, you have yeah, to yeah. like you have to in a way not do what they, you almost have to not do what you think is what they want to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But going to the second thing was just like I had to go back and see the producers. Yeah, and that was just in that was and that was yeah that was a bad day. But they seemed to find the story funny because I actually that day I I borrowed money off my mate for my train ticket. Lost it that morning, yeah. uh, like betting, lost yeah, that morning. Yeah. I was like, oh dear, I'm in the absolute shit. So, and this is what happened. I worked out, basically, I, I bought a ticket to like the closest station. Because technically, if you don't leave the station, you're allowed to do it. But I got a train to, to Totnes, to then to Reading. And then I worked out what train goes into platform one at Paddington, because they don't have barriers. So I went on that wow. and then got out of platform one at Paddington. Managed to make it to the place. Like uh -huh. I, I explained the story, which they seemed to find quite funny. Yeah. Went, I went to watch Argon after, but they, they, yeah, they, we just chatted to them. They were like, they were two, two like lady producers. We were just having Fair a yap. So it was just almost like a casual chat. Yeah. They and this is the thing. Do you know they do like twists and stuff where like they mess around. They never actually tell you you're on. Like then you're never in if that makes sense. Yeah. So they like they said, oh, you've got to go to like. Um, to like isolation 
or whatnot. Yeah. Which you obviously you think you're on, but they never say like. That's interesting. You're, and that is horrible. Yeah, just the obviously, not knowing. Oh, four days of just being stood in a certain. And I, that night, Argyle played Wickham in <laughs> in the uh, no, Argyle played Wickham in the playoffs, yeah. and they they promised me I could watch that game. They <laughs> promised me I could watch that game. And you had to have like a chaperone. <laughs> With yeah, you. and they yeah. promised me I could watch their game, and then they told me no, and I was like, I was like, literally, I was like, you fucking promised me I could watch that game. Yeah, yeah, I, I listened to it. We lost three 0 so I was already like absolutely my human head was, about it. Yeah, head, head was hot. Head was gone. The only thing I did manage to do was I uh -huh. did manage to swipe a newspaper. Ah, uh, it counts for something. Yeah, well, I had a bit of information on people before I oh, went in. Oh, right, yeah, of course. It's a yeah. bit naughty, but... Yeah. Well, the chaperones were just like, we were in we were in the lobby. I've said this before, we were in the yeah. lobby area because like, they were taking you to do like... And it was... it was. I'm quite, as I say, I'm quite... I was supposed to say it was boring. Like, I've not really done too many exciting things. And like, you get to like this... It's a thing for like the ITV... Oh, not ITV, sorry. Like the Channel 5, like bit on the side bit. So it's very like, you know, what's this that you've done? And I'm just thinking, fuck me, I am a boring bastard. Like, <laughs> so what have you done? This is a picture of you away yeah, yeah, at yeah. Plymouth Argyle no, again. Like, I just had like to stand there in a bit of bucket, like just kept putting a no paddle up constantly to like, have you done it in a car? Have you done it on a beach? Have you done it on a plane? Like just holding up, no, no, no. <laughs> Just thinking, like, we go back to like, the lobby and like the, the chaperones just chatting. And I saw, I had a jumper and I saw the newspaper there and I thought, fuck it, I'll chance it. Yeah. Like, showbiz section, like, oh, right, so you're that, you're this. Just thought I'd see if anyone bullshitted when I went in there about who they were or what they yeah. did. I thought it was a bit of like extra information. Have you seen the uh, YouTuber doing, all right, not YouTube, but there is the locked, Foot Asylum yeah, locked they, in they, YouTuber Big Brother? Yeah, they did. I, like, I, I guess I can say it, they did ask me to, if I wanted yeah. to go on that, but I said, no, I couldn't do, I just couldn't do it again. Really? So yeah, no, even, if they came, even if they came with you and they're like, look, we're going to give you a decent amount of money. I couldn't, I couldn't do it again. I, the thing is, well, I don't like leave my stream for too long. I'm really, yeah. I, I'm quite protective of it. So uh -huh. I don't, I don't like to leave it for too long, but no, mm -hmm. I, I, I wouldn't do it. I don't think I'd need to do it. Like I've done, I've done like that sort of experience before. Do I want to yeah. do it again? Probably not. Not that I did enjoy it. It, it Just was. you've done it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and you know, it's. With a bunch of YouTubers, I imagine it'd be really different. Yeah. I, I have no idea what it would be like. Uh, yeah. I, I don't think it's personally for me, unless like the money was extremely good. I probably, I wouldn't. I'm sure they'd love to have you at their camp. Yeah. Well, hey, look, they've asked before and I told them you better fucking get your figures sorted, bro, because there's no Up way I'm going offer, for please. that. Yeah. We see, yeah. We We've see said it before on here, me and Chip. Me and Chip said we both commentate it for them instead. But, that'd uh, be good. That'd yeah, be good. I think that'd be a good one. But you learn, like, you, like, you learn things, like, because of the ice, the way the isolation is, like, the four days, and four days of being in a hotel room is, is horrible. Yeah. Like, a room where, like, you can't leave. And then you're just almost, like, on the night, you're like, just get me in that fucking house. And yeah. you're in a hotel in Boreham Wood. Like, they move you to a different hotel. And you can hit, almost hear out the window, like, the noise and stuff. And wow. even at this point, you do not know that you're on the show. Like, you do not know you're yeah. on the show. That's the worst part, Yeah, yeah, because they take you blindfolded knowing. in a... They take you blindfolded in a car. Wait, what? Sorry, they've done you like like you're some sort yeah, of like bli political blindfolded, prisoner. Bli blindfold, literally blindfolded in a car. Door opens, like the eyes there, and they're like, "Yeah, go." They're like, "You're on, like go." And the like, next thing I know, I'm fucking walking down a thing. There's Emma Willis, like. I'm thinking, Jesus, what the bloody hell's going on here? Oh, it is literally like yeah, that. Yeah, that's it. And yeah, I'm walking through the door. Like I was like, "Where's the fucking kettle? I need a cup of tea." Like, <laughs> and yeah, that is that is that is that's it. That's amazing. And then yeah, it, yeah, I started off with like some immunity stuff because th there was a vote to win early, uh -huh. and I was voted for, and I could have taken a car, but I didn't. So so everyone so what were they voting? They were like, oh, you're it was the, like, our yeah, favorite. Yeah, we didn't know, but they had to vote for the winner. So obviously I was pretty humble because everyone voted like I was the the vote for the win. Okay. So they took me into a room. They were like, oh, the diary room. They're like, oh, you can take the car. What car was it? It was it was like it was like worth like twenty seven. I think it was like a BMW. But I don't drive. Okay. And stuff. And to be honest, I wanted the time off work, and I I kind of did want to do every day. It was <laughs> sixty my, days off work. It was my sweet. goal to do every day. Yeah. Had it been like cash at the time had it been just money yeah probably would have taken it had yeah. it been actual money but i was like now nah. i was like i want to actually like stay so i turned that down like yeah. stayed um and yeah like he got thing is though is obviously the problem is you don't know how you're like i didn't think i changed at all while i was in there but when you think so obviously at the start in my head i'm like obviously at the end of the day if people think you're popular like you're like well 
things are going great. And if you don't think you change at all, yeah. you'd think like over 40 days, everything would be fine. So we got to like a week where like basically everyone was nominated because they fuck with the nominations a lot in our series. Yeah. Got, and like, I say like weaker housemates, but you know people that almost like basically they do fuck all, they're not really out there characters. Yeah. And she's like naming off names that are being like safe. And I'm thinking, oh, f like it gets to a point where you're like, oh, fuck me. Like there, I'm like, oh, I could be in the shit. Like, hang on a minute. Like, yeah. I could be in the shit. And then when you hear your name and, they, and they, they're they booing, you're like, what the fuck have I done? Like, and they were- So you, we hear the outside. When, only when she's, she's, you can hear Emma come through yeah. and say like, and that's the only time you can hear the audience. Cause you can't hear them outside the house unless yeah. the door opens. And then they start booing. You're thinking, fuck me, like, what have I done? Have I pissed? Because people have are I getting angry. The they're like, oh, here. you're this and that. You're like, you're angry or grouchy. Like, well, they're not letting me eat and they're not letting me sleep. Like, the two things I like. Yeah. What yeah. do you fucking expect? Like, I'm going to be pissed <laughs> off. But yeah, the other guy, Simon, who, to be fair, I don't mean he was an absolute knob. He, 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 he was out. And I thought, right, I was like, I've got to fucking, like, sort my shit out here. Like, so I don't have to go, like, I thought, fuck me, I'm in trouble. Yeah. Somehow managed to survive won a bit of money and then yeah so how much do you win for coming in fourth 23 grand no i i, I well i stole oh. 23 grand i say stole but we had like a task week and this is one other thing that's quite funny is when you're in big brother uh, you, you can work out who the different voices are so you have like if they say like you'll get some big brother like if you get calls to the diary room for example you'll get like some that you just know it's not it's just for like a welfare chat or whatever yeah but you'll get ones that are like specifically for tasks so yeah. if they say this is big brother goes to everyone in the living room you're like yeah. thank fuck we got something to do you know it's a task <clears throat> you knew the producers were I got in trouble one night for standing on the table singing the Adam Johnson song I was hammered <laughs> still singing Adam Johnson <laughs> Like they were like, we're getting residential noise complaints. And all I heard, all I heard, no, all I heard from stood up on this thing was, this is big brother, could Jack come to the door room immediately? And like, I went in there and they were like, Jack, this behavior is absolutely like unacceptable. Like they fucking went, they were like, any more of this. And like, yeah, they were fucking. Did they let you have a drink on there? Uh, yeah, like every night they gave you, because they want people yeah, to get Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I barely drank in there. And then the okay. one night I fucking did like, so this lad, Mark, who actually, ironically, a very good friend of mine now, yeah. really nice guy, but in there he was like the classic, like just knobhead, be a twat, piss everyone off. Yeah. Lo like looking back at it, I kind of wish I enjoyed him a bit more as opposed to sort of trying to like go against him, if uh -huh. that makes sense. But like, yeah, he, he, he like went into like a safe house. I got hammered and like, I fucking, I thought he'd gone. I actually, I got pissed. I like rinsed into him. He came back in. I was like, oh shit. I was like, yeah, I'm fucking done here. Oh like, no. He's like, this is game over. Like I'm fucking done. Like sort of thing. But yeah, we got to the, like, it was like late on, but I'd always said if there was like a chance to take money, I was like, I'm doing one with it. I didn't, I never hid that fact. Yeah. We did like a cash week. There was a lot of money moving around and stuff like that. And then we did task and we had it where there was like 23 grand. We just went into a room, 23 and a half thousand pounds in a briefcase in the room. Oh, we had a button. Oh, that's looking good. Six of us. Well, I knew two of them, two of them had their hands behind their back. They weren't interested. They, they morally were like, I'm thinking, well, if you don't want that, fucking cheers. Yeah. Like, like the other two were kind of, I knew one of them, Christian, who also sound, sound as a pound. I knew he wanted it. And she was like, they were like, right. They were like, if you take the money, you get to stay in the house as well. They were like, you don't have to leave immediately. Okay. They were like, there'll be a 60 second countdown. If anyone wants to, they've got to press the button. It went three, two, one, like that. I was like, cheers then. And she was like, yeah, you, you've won it. But obviously, once again, I was in a lot of shit. And, you know, it's Big Brother. So I was in like, this, this wasn't shown on TV. Like I was in the diary room, like just seriously, I was like, just fucking tell me. Because obviously I'm like, if this fucking goes, like my head is gonna like, you know, if you, yeah. if it's a joke sort of thing. Yeah, and this I'm is gonna, gonna get lose my head. Because they told me it had to be, it had to be handcuffed to me at all times. Fine. But I fell asleep once and they put it in the freezer and I was worried I was gonna lose it. They literally put it in the freezer. <laughs> I woke up like, oh my God, oh my God. And I was like begging them, like, please. I was like, it, you know, yeah. worried because worried, sick. But I had to do like tasks that day, like shave my hair and like going like, a, it, it was this bath of like, chicken guts and that and it was pretty grim absolutely so you, vile. You, in the end though you, you came out with that money yeah yeah it was in my bank like the next day like, like oh they were on yeah, it yeah 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 really oh, quickly class. the only thing it does do is it it, it fucks with your head when you come out of there why it, is that because you think like the whole time they're like oh if you want the help when you come out and you're like well just go back to normal 
I didn't want to leave my house for about two weeks. It was horrible. What, just, uh, people knowing? N no, no, you, nothing right? to do with that. Nothing oh. to do with that. Just like, the, like being enclosed in a house with the same people for, for like two months. Got you. To then going back to like the normal work. It was really hard to get used to. I really struggled like badly yeah. for a couple of weeks. Uh-huh.